Hello Goosebumps Gamer 2006, I want to play a game. As a fan of the Saw movies, you've been obsessing with these movies. If you love these movies so much, why not test your knowledge? Let's see if you can review every Saw movie in the Saw franchise. You have 11 months to do it. Should you succeed, your knowledge will be your key to survival. Fail, and, well, let's just say the consequences might be less than favorable. The clock is ticking. Goosebumps Gamer 2006. Well, looks like we don't have a choice. So we're going to review all, all 11 Saw movies. Starting off with Saw 1 from 2004. Directed by James Wan. Screen written by Lee Whannell. Movie Saw is about two guys, Adam Sandheit and Dr. Lawrence Gordon, wake up in a dimly lit abandoned bathroom and they find a dead body in between the room. In the other hand, he has a tape recorder. In the other hand, he has a gun. They, realize, they play the tape and they realize they've been put here by the jigsaw killer, who technically doesn't really kill his victims. Uh, he, or who I can, he's a murderer, so we'll let that pass. Anyways, he put, Jigsaw puts uh, people through these type of traps to make them appreciate their life more. And we're introduced to Detective Tab, played by Danny Glover, and De Detective Singh, and Detective Allison Carey, trying to find the identity of Jigsaw. There's a lot of flashbacks. They find Dr. Gordon's pen in the scene of, at the, the razor wire maze and the fumble jelly trap. They bring Dr. Gordon in for questioning about the fingerprints all over the, um, the pen. And they bring in a... His alibi holds up, but they meet, we meet another character, Amanda Young, played by Shawnee Smith. Amanda survived one of Jigsaw's games, the reverse bear trap. And that is the first trap we're into we're faced with Billy the Puppet. So Adam is like, how do I know you're not the one who put me in the room? And he's like, trust me, Adam, I'm in the same situation you're in. And then they realize there's a camera hidden between the mirror, which is covered by two-way mirrors. So, and, yeah, and, and then we see a guy wearing all black holding Dr. Gwen's family hostage, watching them through the little monitor. And they start to, um, uh, Dr. Gordon starts to freak out. He starts to, um, he starts to ask, like, he tries to solve ways to, um, he tries to solve ways to get, uh, to get out of the situation. He tried asking Adam to fake his death, but Adam's super, uh, such a bad actor, like, watch. And, and Detective Tap, uh, according to a flashback, he tried to, uh, find take down Jigsaw by going into his lair in an abandoned warehouse somewhere in the city on Stygian Street. He um, he that involves getting his partner Detective Singh killed, and he got discharged from the police force. And he's sitting out of the apartment just watching um, Detective. Uh, well, he's watching Detective Tap is watching uh, Doctor Gordon through the little camera. So back to the bathroom. They're still there and try to suspect each other. And then Dr. Gordon, he gets a call on his phone from from his wife, Allison, saying, don't believe Adam's lies. He knew all about you. And they start to suspect each other. And it was a secret photographer. And Dr. Gordon, she and his wife. That is why Jake put them there. And then he realized the man who was in Dr. Gordon's home was one of his or orderlies named Zepp Pindle. When Dr. Gordon reveals the truth, they realize they're out of time. And Zepp is like, Dr. Gordon's time is up. So she says, you failed. And tackles the Zepp to the floor. And yeah, they start fighting. D Detective Tap comes in. He starts to chase Zepp uh, through the car, which is a very, very awesome, epic, awesome car chase. Like, it's super detailed. And they go to, down to the, um, the factory. They go down to like a sewer lid, and Dr. Gordon, he's panicking, so he picks up a hacksaw and starts cutting off his own foot. He crawls over to reach for the gun, and he shoots Adam in the shoulder. Detective Tap dies. 
Detective Zap dies. Joel trying to t- chase um, Zep. And then Zep makes it to the bathroom. He says, oh, you're too late. But it turns out that Adam did not die. He's just super injured right now. He picks up the toilet lid and starts beating Zep to death. And then uh, Dr. Gordon's like, Dr. Gordon's like, it's okay, Adam. I'll go and get for some help. I promise. So he crawls out the door. And then here's the best part in the movie. Adam reaches into the um into Zep's uh, jacket. He picks up a tape player and it says hello Zep and realizing that Zep is not the Jigsaw killer, Zep was just a part of Jigsaw's game. And I know what you'll be asking, who is the real Jigsaw killer? Well it was a dead guy on the floor who was earlier seen as John Kramer, who was one of the cancer patients and He's sick of people who don't appreciate their blessings. So at the end, he he looks at Adam, he puts his hand on the door, and then he says the most infamous line, most people are so ungrateful to be alive, not you, not anymore. And then he shuts the door, leaving Adam to saying his the fam- famous phrase, game over. And one of the best endings in history was born. <laughs>